Okay, we'll just have a look, few, have a look at a few terms in graph theory. This whole thing is a graph and it's made up of these things. These are called nodes or vertices. You can see why they're called vertices because they're parts of a shape, they're points and, and a shape. These are called edges or sometimes arcs. They don't have to be straight lines, so sometimes they are called arcs. And they mean the same thing. Now, a graph, which is this whole thing, shows a connection of edges joining vertices together. Like this, this whole thing's a graph. Now, if I move this about, it's still the same graph, because all the graph really does is show connections. So all these graphs are showing the same connections, regardless of where we put these, regardless of the actual lengths, the connections are still the same. Now, if I go over here, it becomes a bit confusing, because it looks almost like there should be a, a, a node here, here, and here. So it's best to avoid that sort of thing. The way to do it is to have that there. So that's uh, that's graphs, and that shows what the graphs are now. Now a few few other points. If these had numbers on, these numbers would be called weights. Weights. Now they can the weight can represent distances between towns, time taken to get from one town to another, the cost of a bus route from one town to another, anything really. And often we'll want to find a route through one of these graphs. I'll just talk about a few other terms. A route through the graph like this is called a path. A path starts somewhere, finishes somewhere else, and you don't backtrack on yourself. So that there is called a path. This is not a path. And the reason is because we've gone back on ourselves, so that's not a path. This next one is called a tree. I didn't want that one. A tree. That's called a tree. Now it's not a path because you can't draw it without taking your, you, you can't draw it without taking your pen off the paper. Essentially, you can't go along the, all these lines without backtracking. So it's not a path, but it is a tree. This is now not a tree because it joins back to itself. Now a spanning tree is one that we just saw saw there. A spanning tree is a tree where all the vertices are used. So here, that's a spanning tree, because this, all the vertices are joined to each other, not necessarily in the best, most direct route to get from here all the way down to here. You have to go quite a long way round, or so it seems. We don't know if it's long, because there's no actual numbers on this graph. But uh, that would be a spanning tree. Now, if we have numbers on this, it becomes a minimum spanning tree. Sorry, not, a min not necessarily a minimum spanning tree, but uh, if we have numbers on them and we could find the tree which contained the smallest numbers, that'll be a minimum spanning tree. I'll shut up now and you'll see about that later.